Hey you, this is Jasim from CodeBand and in this video we are going to be talking about select related in Django. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon near to it. So without any further, let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so I'm in the official documentation of the um, uh, Django's, the select related stuff here as you can see a lot of stuff here. Now I'll put the link in the description section so that you can actually get into here. Now uh, it has got a couple of information about the uh, select related and its implementation here. Now uh, in a nutshell it is actually a performance booster which, which actually executes a single more complex query instead of a ton of queries. Now uh, you don't have to bother about these steps right now as you might not understand this one at, at the moment but you'll understand it very clearly very exactly uh, at the end of this video now um, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll actually demonstrate the whole process of uh, the the use case of select related and how do you use it what is the uh, problems if you don't use it and all those things or every every single step about the select related st uh, stuff and yeah uh, let's actually uh, write some code and uh, explore the select related now uh, I'm here in my uh, project so this is a fresh new Django project and uh, yeah I have a company application here uh, now this company application has two important models here as you can see it represents and the company application actually represents an organization so it has some it has got some departments and it has got some employees so um, uh, I have added a couple of departments and a couple of employees to each departments now the employee table uh, you can uh, in the employee model you can actually see a department field which is actually a foreign key to the department model now this is very important so just keep a note of it and yeah that's pretty much about the models now I have set the basic URLs there so uh, in the main URLs.py I have uh, added the path to include the company.url so in the company application URLs.py I have a simple URL uh, which actually goes to views.com so which is a function based view uh, just a simple one where we are going to be writing the logic so um, in order to actually demonstrate the whole process uh, we have actually created these two things two models and now we'll start to uh, write some code that actually explains the use case of select related so first what we are going to be doing is we're fetching all employees right so in order to fetch all employees uh, what I have to say is employees I'll put in a variable employees is equal to my employee model dot objects dot all so this will actually fetch all those employees for me now what I'm gonna be doing is just looping through that employee employees list so I'll just say for employee in employees uh, I just want to print uh, the uh, name so the employee name so employee dot name I'll just print that and yeah so I'll just update this and print uh, their name I just say print their name fetching on boys and printing maybe printing their name yeah uh, yeah now uh, one thing I have uh, forgot to mention is that I'm using the Django debug toolbar as you might have seen here to include the, their URLs now uh, uh, this is because we, we need to actually explore the underlying SQL queries that is being executed uh, uh, for example if we actually write this logic here so in order to uh, in order for that purpose I'm using the Django debug toolbar now if you haven't heard of Django debug toolbar till yet now uh, I have a separate video on that how to install and configure Django debug toolbar. I'll put the link in the, in the description section so that you can watch that at some point of time. Now, yeah, we'll just, um, so we have just done our um, uh, things here, our logic to actually print the employee name. Now, we'll just run, uh, we, we have our server up and running. We'll just run that uh, server there. Uh, we'll just refresh that page there. Now you can see that it, it, it has got a value error. Now that's because we, we are not returning an HTTP response there. Yeah, now you can see the Django debug toolbar appeared here. Now if we, if we just look into the console here, you can see that uh, the employee names being printed there. So we have four employees, uh, as you can see here. Now 
the underlying SQL query being executed as you can see here is one query in one MS so if we look into that it is actually um, the select query which selects all the uh, employees from the uh, company underscore employee table now the companies are application name and employees or model name so it is actually fetching all those employees there now if you go to sell here the selector you can actually see that uh, those employees there their details their uh, departments and all so yeah that's actually uh, no issues with that now the issue starts when we actually access the related model now the related model actually is uh, the, the, if you look into the employee model, the related model is actually the department itself. So, for example, if I want to print the, the employee name plus their department, so what I would do is actually employee dot department dot uh, the name. Yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. What I have to do. So what I'm doing here is employee dot department. Now the department is a foreign key, so it actually gives me that department object wherein I have that name. So yeah that will do the trick and if we actually uh, refresh the page uh, uh, and if we go to the console maybe uh, yeah I'll refresh this one uh, again and if we uh, come back into the console you can see that John Doe HR accounts and all uh, the the names and their corresponding uh, departments there now yeah that's also totally working fine but if we come back into the application and if we uh, just go to SQL here you can see five queries there so if we look into that you can see that five queries there now the first query is the previous one itself selecting all the employees now the second one is actually uh, selecting um, the the department which has an ID of one now the similar one uh, selecting the department which has uh, the uh, ID of two then three then three now what exactly it is why these four queries here now that's the question now that's because uh, if we look into the employee the first query fetching all employees and if you select that you can see that we have four employees now what exactly this one is doing this uh, this code is doing is it is actually uh, 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 going into the database for each of these employees so for John Doe it will actually go to the department table and uh, uh, fetches that record which has a department ID of one now the second case the second query is actually uh, the Jane Doe case so it will actually go to the department table and it will just fetch uh, the department uh, that has an ID of of two now again with the three and three now we have uh, double uh, the, the same department here but even though it is same uh, the underlying uh, the ORM will, will actually go twice into that uh, table and fetches those things now duplicates and yeah uh, uh, suppose if you have a hundred employees in your company then it will actually execute hundred and one queries so hundred uh, this department queries plus this one query so that is totally uh, uh, you know astonishing to know that uh, if you have thousand then it will be like thousand and one queries now this is the use case of the select related this is where we want to use the select related and we shall be using that and we shall be using that now now before that this is uh, also known as a classical n plus one problem in ORM so the n plus one stands for actually in here we have four employees so four plus one uh, query so four plus one five query in total so uh, you can actually refer that uh, n plus one problem uh, you can find a lot uh, more information on that now we are going to be fixing this to just one query uh, it will actually fetch those employees and their corresponding departments with just one query so for that we are using the uh, select rela related stuff so employee.objects.all dot select related and in here we, we need to actually pass in the fields so the fields in the sense is the related object so we are in the employee table in the employee model this model so the related model in here is actually the department model here so we need to actually pass in the department field into the select related field here so I'll just say department and that's it that's very much it if we actually uh, refresh the page and if we uh, come back into our 
uh, a console here, you can actually see that uh, output there, the employees and the departments. And actually, you can see the SQL query, just one query itself, as you can see here. So if we have 100 uh, employees, then also there, there would be executed only one query. So that's uh, actually what it does is it is joining these two tables. So it is joining the employee table and it is, uh, with, with the inner join with the uh, department table. So you can actually see, uh, if you select that, you can actually see this is the output actually is. Now, with just one query, you fetch the employee name and its corresponding uh, department name as well. So uh, this is what is uh, the actual um, uh, thing that is written here, uh, performance booster, which results in single, more complex query. Actually, you can see that it is a single query, but it is a little bit complex uh, than the previous one, but it uh, actually uh, does the magic for us instead of, uh, uh, for example, 101 queries, it actually does the thing in just a single one query. So this is actually the use case uh, of the select related, the performance booster, and yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. And uh, um, you can see the documentation. You can refer the documentation for a different example. And uh, uh, yeah, that that's uh, all about the select related. Now, in the next video, we are going to be talking about prefetch related, which is much similar to select related, but the implementation is uh, somewhat different. So we'll talk about that use case as well. And I hope you understood the concept. And uh, yeah, if you have any doubts or any sorts of suggestions please do let me know in the comment section below and uh, yeah that's it guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon near to it so thank you for watching we'll see you in the very next one